this is the castor oil plant. It's also considered one of, if not the deadliest plants in the world, and its scientific name may give you a clue. Ricinus communis. Ricinus communis. That's right. Each one of these little berries will dry up, and they each contain a little bean. It's not really a bean, but it looks just like a bean. And they contain ricin. But it's also the same plant that we get castor oil from. You know, the same castor oil that everyone's putting on their wet knots and to grow their hair back. Now, of course, the castor oil can be extracted by a machine, but I watched a million videos of how people actually do it in their home. And most people aren't doing this in the United States. So, but I saw a lot of people from Jamaica doing this in other countries. Um, so what happens is these little bean pods, see some of them have popped open already. These will pop open and the beans will spray everywhere. So typically you would have to put them in a mesh bag um, and let them complete the drying process so they can pop open or sometimes they would lay them out on a lace sheet and cover them with the lace. So when the beans pop open, they don't lose them. This is what the beans look like. So once all the beans are collected and they separate them from the husk and any other part, they heat them up. Um, and the heating process is really important. It like hardens the shell and it helps it um, so you can extract the oils better. And then once those are heated up, then they would put them in a big mortar and pestle and grind them into a mash. Then that mash is taken and put into a pot of boiling water. Once they boil down the mash, the oil will start to separate. Some people will scoop the oil off and then use a fine mesh strainer to remove any of the other products that might be in it. And some people would take that mash water, put it through a strainer, and then put the liquid in the fridge to let the oil come to the top and solidify. And then go ahead and boil that down again to get rid of any water. And then you're left with the castor oil. Always go do your own research, because keep in mind, I'm not a professional. I just love to learn. I'm an urban homesteader, and I always happen to come upon amazing plants. This one was growing in my neighbor's yard. 